My story, I, I think, really comes from a, uh, a, a flood that happened in my hometown uh, back in June of 2008. Uh, right before that, a month before, uh, I was divorced. And uh, that came about a lot because of my mental illness. Uh, I do have bipolar two, and I got into a pretty deep depression uh, while uh, trying to get an MBA. So I, I'd really hit the low point in my life, uh, and this flood happened. I, I was working at a local hospital, and uh, the hospital went through its own uh, disaster there. Uh, the entire basement was flooded about a foot on the first floor. Uh, so it was about a four-month process, and so the hospital paid all of us to um, work in the community. So uh, I was blessed to be able to be a case manager uh, for folks uh, who, who had lost their homes, uh, who were going through a really rough time. Uh, and I was also part of a, like a long-term recovery team to help get money into the community and rebuild homes. So uh, this was coming right out of my divorce in that really low spot. And so um, over the next year, I, I just devoted as much time as I could uh, and really take a lot of that raw emotion from the divorce and, and that low place I've been to just look into the eyes of other people and hear their story and, and connect. And it, it transformed my life, uh, no doubt. And. Uh, I, I really felt moved um, about halfway, maybe three or four months after the flood happened to, to write a book about it. Because uh, I just had so much exposure to some of the leadership in the community that was doing things, the case management that I was doing with personal stories. And, and then just my own story of, of recovery going on. So uh, I wrote a book called Watershed and uh, the subtitle is Service in the Wake of Disaster, uh, with kind of that double meaning of uh, the, you know, flood and natural disaster, uh, as well as my own kind of personal disaster with a divorce. Uh, so that was just um, an incredible experience to be able to dive into uh, the book and continue to get more stories. Um, and, and through that, I was able to interview a lot of leaders in the community who wrote essays, uh, in between my chapters of the book. So uh, it was just incredible. And uh, after that, I, I decided I was gonna just really commit to the nonprofit sector, um, connecting with people uh, who were struggling with, with various things. And, and so I started an organization called Watershed uh, Philanthropy. And uh, just the way I, I go about life now is uh, loving, I, I'm really trying to reclaim uh, the idea of philanthropy uh, because we hear about like Bill Gates, you know, uh, these very rich people who are donating millions, if not more, uh, you know, and that's a philanthropist. But uh, I, I think we're all philanthropists. I, I really, going back to kind of the original meaning of just love uh, for others. And so uh, I'm rec reclaiming that, and I believe that we can all have uh, watershed moments uh, where we realize uh, that we're all philanthropists and we all um, have the gift of loving others, you know, and uh, that comes back to us, no doubt. And, and you know, when you say hope, uh, uh, you just love and, and you hope your love back, but I guess for me it's more than hope. I just, I, I know it's gonna return, you know. So my life's been transformed, no doubt, and I'm just in a place now where I'm trying to figure out how to love really well. <laughs> so that's what I do.